Welcome to your astrological natal chart report. This is the Peace Dealer. Thank you very much for your patience, and I hope you gain the utmost of quality from this report. We do see you are not only a double cancer, but you also have your moon in Taurus. I am a huge fan of this energy as it signifies great groundedness of emotion. We see the moon exalted here in Taurus, giving you the vibration of natural psychic power or natural sincerity. This is offers a very smooth edge that goes into the grounding of irrational and turbulent ocean waves that cancer can bring with its choppy waters. Your personality in cancer makes you the high priestess and spirit with the sun here ties your identity to this Holy Spirit. You are the Holy Spirit. Um, and Mercury here in between is really what's gangster. Shout out to the Mercury Rising gangs. Mercury Risings know who they are, know what they want. This really speaks to your ability to process, experience, and relate everything as it pertains to you. So if you're if if you consider yourself self-absorbed and you focus only on yourself and think a lot only about yourself. You're literally supposed like this is literally what you're here for. You're supposed to process these feelings and relate how these feelings make you feel. And then, you know, towards others. So the Taurus moon makes you receptive to where the value of this sincere power belongs. And that magnetic quality of the moon is going to attract the right and wealthy individuals. So you're in a position to realistically open up this energy and accordingly. Okay. On top of that, this is also trining the seventh house Capricorn energy, putting you in a position to very powerfully Harness the nature of power that goes into your dealings with other people by harnessing that physical strength accordingly so that you're in a position to very naturally feel into this influence that anchors your strength and goes into directly acting in integrity with other people. Because Jupiter on the seventh house is very amazing. And what is even more revealing is because you have Neptune at the tail end here. What I love about you being born in 96 is that Pluto in Sagittarius and Uranus in Aquarius shift the narrative generate of in generation with saturn here forward saturn pluto and uranus of now automating the nature of intuition and making more intense experience and how you're able to see into the meaning of experience you being at the bridge is very important but neptune at the tail and the capricorn will speak to your ability to flawlessly discern and feel intuitively the nature of people's characters based off of what you're Taurus moon can feel off their body language that furthermore cements who is who okay why this is even more important now also goes into this nature of your ability to be directly aware of this dynamic as well and this is definitely what will go into how powerfully everything that your soul is receptive to influences the the cardinal direction of 
where you lead it with integrity with individuals because now everything that your physiology and physical function will literally sense where it's kind of like a psychic sense that you'll physically feel about other people which you need to trust implicitly whether it makes sense or not because this is nonlinear. your son in cancer is aware of it so whereas your body will feel the sense of their character and body language your spirit is going to show you the unseen nature of their psychology and emotions that will now match and balance everything you're sensing with their body language venus and mars that are together in gemini transcend now this intellectual function and speak of the beauty of prose and written communicative ability that allows you to passionately and charmingly express your ideas in the 12th these will denote hidden talents that can seek to isolate yourself because you can sabotage yourself with this by overthinking things but this is going to give you a more transcendent blended understanding of how you can direct this sacred logic as high priestess the reason why i love this combo is that the awareness of emotions and the water element in cancer is grounded fully with this exaltation of the moon in Taurus and allows you to through your physical senses sense everything you feel making stable this awareness of psychic intuition and phenomena so that you can actually practically utilize these abilities it's really awesome so with Saturn that squares this cancer energy this is the work ethic that goes into how seriously you take your reputation and the assertiveness that you want to make sure doesn't manifest in impatience because Saturn will inhibit your son. It could speak of relationships with your father or influences, authority figures and employers in this life that may seek to undermine or control you, which you rise above by establishing integrity because Jupiter brings so much to the table in a relationship. You not only draw out people's greatness, but should they have integrity, this rewards them with the expansion of your trust. And with Neptune here, this also expands forward a lot of your intuitive receptivity to them to, to now delve into more shocking and intimate, unconventional natures of, you know, dealing with people because the water houses are very strange but are very key to your destiny it's your destiny to heal the social environment around you and privately balance this that means this isn't something that you do openly it's something you feel into and so chiron is a key that with saturn on the south node exposes a lack of integrity and in how they may enforce their authority so that they can show more care to the people around them and this is going to really put you off with people who lord themselves over another saturn and aries can be impatient though with teaching people things or with kind of getting things done so you want to be mindful of that influence but this is going to secure powerful positions of authority once you come into your saturn return and with the MC in the ninth house, 19 degrees sextile your moon, this anchors with your soul, your ability to add like as a consultant or teacher, show people the divine, show people the wisdom of metaphysics. And because your son trines this, it draws on you being able to see into the unseen and how these divine elements of character shape your personality in cancer. So this is very important because Uranus here in the eighth deals with others so unconventionally. This is what lends to you at a heart and desire level, synthesizing the truth and logic you do in hidden ways that take into account facets of experience other people don't know because they can't feel. You feel it though. And so this is where you guide that key into repairing imbalances in social dynamics between different people, between facets within you, so that you can anchor this Saturnian power to stabilize it all. And this grand cardinal cross not only breaks through supernatural power, 
but allows you to expand and build on character through these cardinal focus, cardinally focused actions. So I hope you enjoyed this report. You carry the vibration of natural sincerity, the realness of psychic power that allows you to evolve with integrity every relationship and partnership that you bring so much to the table to. Neptune is going to have you intuit directly what their character is, and the moon will draw in whether they're, you know, part of the entourage or not. So I hope you enjoyed this report. You stay blessed as always. And until next time, peace.